happy place, happy birthday to our online art group. It's session 52. So can you believe we've been running this online group for a year now? And um, as a result, let's do some collaborative projects, something we can display at the physical place of John and Happy Place. So we're doing the, our hand outlines with a variety of mixed media techniques. Um, and you have freedom to choose from techniques uh, you learned from this group. Um, I will refresh your memory, I will show you quickly some techniques, but feel free to go back to the sessions we did and you can use a variety of art materials as well. Um, preferably create you know, a few outlines, different colors, put your name at the back and I will let you know later how we're going to get them collected because then we will laminate them and create bunting and that was the idea from Chloe, so thank you very much for that. I think it's going to be a very personal, very lovely and colorful project and hopefully we can collect them uh, at some point and um, create that bunting and um, take it to John and Happy Place for display. So have fun. At one o'clock I'm opening messenger room uh, in this group, so you have to be inside the John and Happy Place art group um, you probably see at the front it says there's a message there's a room open which I will open so feel free to come in join it works like any video call or zoom you just click join have coffee um, maybe cake and we can talk about what you liked over last year and maybe what you would like to have in the sessions and just see how you're doing right hopefully see you there bye bye okay let's get started so this project is very um, match free for you to choose what you want to work with so we've done um this is um, our class number 52 so you have 51 classes and some of them you can choose to use techniques for this project so we're doing our outlines of our hands on the different backgrounds with different techniques and then we're cutting out those um, outlines so we have different colorful ha uh, hands uh, do as many as you want you can put your name like i said at the back we will laminate it and we will create uh, bunting for john and happy place so um, I'm going just to refresh your memory with some techniques and uh, you can also go back to our previous classes and use those techniques now for this project. Um, examples I have already here is the watercolor background, which I'm going to show you, remind you, because we use that in many classes. We use that in the imaginary creatures class. We use that in watercolor postcards project. It, this is wet on wet, lots of water, lots of paint, allowing it to blend when you move paper, um, maybe sometimes drying one layer or going with another layer. You can also use inks for that. Um, so that's an, one example. Uh, acrylic, I'll show you that again. This was used in many of our projects, including uh, working with collage and acrylic backgrounds, but also lots of projects when we did acrylic abstracts. Um, it's the same technique, a page full of different brush strokes, uh, very loose, very much not knowing what it looks like, and then just drying it and cutting out the um, outline of the hand. This is typical collage technique used in so many of projects. Um, and again, this, this one is just having piece of the text page book, piece of text from magazine and some um, color from the magazine page, glue it on the paper um, and then just outline your hand and dry it out. And that's another watercolor example. So let me just refresh your memory. So the first one is the watercolor. I've already started here wet on wet, but I want more layers. So this is like layer number one. What I'm doing now is exactly the same, but I want you to see how it works when you work layer on top of the dry layer. So I'm having water and my watercolors. And I'm just applying, first of all, water. It can go on top of that dry layer. It can go next to it. So you can see it's quite uh, wet. And I'm going with some pinky reds. So this is exactly how that previous layer would be created. Blues, maybe some purple. And I'm going back to water, splashing water 
into that paint so I have like water pushing it away allowing it to move a bit if there is too much just use paper tissue and grab this color um, of the paper but here I'm just going with wet brush thinking ah I can just spread it and there'll be more the way more blue and I'm allowing this one dry and that'll be perfect to outline the hand when it's dry and just cut it out so that's for your results like that another one is I would like you to use if you fancy going back to our coffee uh, textured projects from a couple of weeks ago or maybe a few weeks ago so this is very much similar to watercolor plenty of water on your paper and then instant coffee solution um, put into that wet paper and then sprinkle that with salt allow it dry overnight or leave it on the radiator and you get this textured background and i have that from our previous class and i thought now it's great to use it just for the outlines so that's your that's what you do when you have a ready and dry background you just highlighting uh, outlining sorry your own hand and you can have you know different positions of your fingers for different cutouts and just cut that out and that'll be quite interesting one with the coffee background and the last um, technique I want to show you but like I said there are so many you can use from our videos is the acrylic background uh, acrylic abstractish um, background and this is something we used for many um, projects so what you do you just apply paint directly on the paper. There's no messing about with a separate color mixing. And depending, of course, on the brush shape, you may want to use bigger and smaller brushes in one painting. Just allow those colors make some shapes. If you want, you can leave some um fragments of paper being visible you can work with as many colors as you want and just allow that dry and again that would be great for the cutout so um this is the project we have a different types of backgrounds i'm looking forward to see which one you decide to use uh would that be watercolor collage acrylics or you can also work with dry materials so markers doodling you may want to revisit our class when we did the gratitude chain and there was um, some example of using doodling um um, with markers and then uh, having that used for another project now when you complete your hands um, like I said put your name at the back so we know who where it came from um, another option is if you feel like hmm, it's a bit um, empty you may want to add um, drawing on top of that so markers work quite good for watercolor backgrounds for example, you may want to decide, I'm going to add some like nails details. You don't have to, you can go just with doodling. It's an option. And then also, you know, just the, the pattern on the hand. So black pen works very um, effectively on top of watercolors. You 
can just use that area to extend your project when that um, when that cutout is fully dry go with the black pen and using as your paper for doodling Okay, and again that could be developed so have a go Dif we're expecting different times or different types of techniques being used as uh, um, different types of uh, colors and patterns and i will let you know later how we're going to get them collected because we may want to collect them before um, um before we we ever you know we don't know when we're going to be back in person we, we may have to recollect them and laminate them and deliver to john a happy place to put on display so that may be the case but that's the logistics that let me work on them uh, on them uh later and i'll let you know in our facebook group uh how we go about that have fun i'm looking forward to see that happy um, birthday to our group uh one year old now and I'm looking forward to see your projects. Take care. Bye-bye.